Hey friend, how are you? I just got a notification. My friend just went live too. So I'm like, man, we got to get on this together and get it better because it's no fun when we keep missing each other's lives. You know, we're both, we're friends and all, so it's just not fair. Um, how is everybody today? I am doing pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> interesting <clears throat> so um, I'm going to grab a link really quickly for you guys that way if you're interested in getting the essential stencils there will be a code there for you I'm trying to find it there we go and it's a coupon code for you to get 10% off if you go to essentialstencil.com here let me put that in there real quick okay the coupon code if you go there is escape and paint well, wow, let me tell you, everybody is apparently going live right now at 2 o'clock. That's hilarious. Um, hmm. So, we're having technical difficulties. If you'll join me and say, hey, say hi, tell me where you're watching from. Um, I would love to, to know you're watching with me, watching me, and we can maybe either create together or you're just watching to see what I'm doing. Um I got, I'm in the Essential Stencil Stamp, Stencil of the Month Club. And what that means is I get, hey, Tina. Seriously, everybody, I keep getting dings. It's like my phone won't shut up. Everybody's going live right now. <laughs> Thank you for hanging with me, Tina. I appreciate it. Maybe you can help me decide. Do I want to do my, uh, I'm in the Stencil of the Month Club. And I'm going to try and show you guys the pineapple here. I want to do the pineapple. I've got some young ladies I want to do it for, but I can't decide if I want to do it on mixed media paper that can then be framed and given, sent home with them, or do I want to do it on an 8x10 canvas, or should I go big and do it on my black 11 by 14 Hmm. <laughs> And I don't want to sound like a commercial because I was a commercial yesterday for Jamie's uh, group. But uh, we have really, I have really enjoyed all of my, the paper. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to grab a piece of paper to practice on because I don't want to practice on this and then not, then it worked beautifully here and not look so great down there. That's a good idea. Okay. You know what? I've got some 9 by 12 watercolor paper that I think might be just about the right size. <laughs> As a gift, I find paper is better. Paint parties, I do canvas. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking is that you can frame and put somewhere or you can change out in a frame if it's a gift versus not everybody wants to just have this big old canvas sitting in there with them. All right. Well... Eight and a half by 11. Hang on. I've got eight and a half by 11, and that may work better, too. Let me just pull this out and see. I'm going to switch the camera view for you guys so you can see where I'm at. If I can get to my camera again. Oh, I've got to get this organized better for me. I keep moving things around, and then somebody comes in and needs to borrow this or look at that or do this, and so it gets moved to the... I also like to wet the edges and pull away, if you know it. I think I do know what you're talking about. Okay, so I have this one, which is an 8.5 by 11, which would probably be an easier one to frame and do. But then I've also got this watercolor one, and what I love about it is they come out real easy. And they have that slight texture feel to them. So they're not with the pineapple that I'm planning to do, I think this might be a better one to do. 
And if I don't like it, I'll just do smaller for everybody else's. What do you think? See, I can worry about hanging on to them in one spot if I want to. But this was watercolor paper, but it was the same size as the, the same weight as the mixed media paper was that I saw. And I thought, hmm, that's really actually pretty cool. Um, this particular, I've, I've heard of this phrase many a time, so I love, love, love it. And I actually had journaled it about a month or so ago in my art journal. And then this stamp comes out, this stencil comes out, and I'm like, okay, this is just crazy. Y'all reading my mind or something here? Because, there we go. It just struck me as hilarious that it was this particular one. Okay, so we have everything is fine when there is sunshine, which is cute words. Sunshine on my mind, summer loving. Less Monday, more summer. Um, that might be better for these girls. They're going to camp with me. Mm -hmm. And then here's my be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. And I think that's just going to be perfect. Life is better in flip-flops. Happy summer, y'all. That might be a good one, too. Some words, if I put them on. I may put that on the envelope or on the outside or something. And then we've got the, the, the what is it called? Subway art? The subway art, where you've got all these little s'mores, pools, barefoot picnics, watermelon fun, cherries, road trips, seashells, lemonade, summer, popsicles, barbecues, campfires, cold drinks, and sunshine. And that is just summer all over, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to set these over here out of my way. And I'm going to set this over here with them. And then I get the add-on item because I like what's in the add-on item most of the months. And this is really cool. It's got these pretty leaves that make a beautiful background on something or an accent piece. And you could just stencil it on really quick. Okay, so I think this is going to look... Okay, let me kind of fold this so I can see where it is on here and put it, get it centered. Does that look about centered? Here's the top right here and here's the bottom. And I'm trying really hard to not be so OCD about it all. So I'm going to use my painter's tape. I'm not going to put a lot down on here. I'm just going to put a couple of small pieces. And I'm going to do it on, on the one side. Okay. And I'm going to grab my palette. And I'm going to get, I want green. And I might get just a little bit of this sap green because it was kind of darker. It might look a little bit. I love it. I love it. And I think some of these young, I'm, I'm going to camp and I've got a couple of camps I'm working at this summer that I work at every summer. And I think these young girls sometimes need that extra reminder. Hey, Char, how are you? Hey, Tammy, when did you sneak in? How is everybody? Um, I'm painting a pineapple, if I can get my brain together. Okay, I'm going to start with the top up here because I'm going to get my sponge wet because I'm going to use this... Uh, this little sponge, it's just a sponge. I cut a piece of it off at one point to see if I could do it in smaller pieces. But I typically use my big piece. And I'm just going to, I got it damp. Now I'm just going to kind of get a little bit on here and offload, offload, offload. Because I'm thinking that I don't want it too heavy. But I do want the colors mixed. The, the lighter and the darker green both mix in there. But I don't want it to flood my paper. And if I wanted, I could actually trace this on my paper. And I just went off the edge. See, that's, that's why I don't. <laughs> that's why I limit my stencil, you shall. Seriously. 
Let me see if I can get it up before it cries. I may just have to put something on that edge on there. Okay, so that's got the, you can see, I can see, and I'm telling you, if I could figure out how to make these things work good, my cameras never seem to want to work good. See, there's a light and a dark in there. You can see where it's got light and dark and light and dark, and I kind of wanted it to give it that multicolored effect where it's laying there. Can't seem to catch it in the light right. All right. So. I want to do be a pineapple in one color. Or pineapple and the outside of the pineapple in one color. I want wear a crown in gold. And I want stand tall and be sweet on the inside. And be a, a different color. So I need one, two, three, four, four colors and gold. So, gold. So. The gold was what I really needed to get up and get because I knew I don't have my metallic over here. So, as y'all come on, if you'll say hi, I would really appreciate it. And just uh what are y'all doing today i'm doing pretty good tammy um been kind of crazy busy i think we already talked once today and you found out how crazy i am today um but it's good it's good life is good um i am going to go ahead and i think i'm going to use just a smaller flat brush and i am going to push really close where I'm at. I'm going to load my gold. Maybe I'll just do crown and gold. Should I just do do your painting real quick? <laughs> that works. Um, I think I'm just going to put the crown in gold. What do you think? Should I do more than just the crown in gold? Or should I put wear a crown in gold or just crown? Y'all, I'm trying to make some decisions here, but I'm not really great at decision making, so. I'm trying to decide which way to. To go on this. And no, sir, it did not fix it. Oh. He came in for a second and I was. Telling him something about my tech issue. So, I were doing all the words, just one thing. I might would use my little squeegee tool, but I'm kind of nervous about doing. Should I do the whole pineapple and gold? Come on, y'all. I, I need some help here. I'm school bus yellow or daffodil yellow? I think daffodil yellow. Lemon custard. Hmm. Lemon custard or school bus yellow? School bus yellow looks a little, well, no, lemon custard makes me think a little more of the, the pineapple color. Okay. Let's see if I can make my little squeegee here do its job. Let me grab and go. I'm going to push really close up next to it. And I usually don't use these unless I'm using a textured, really thick bodied paint or dimensional elements or something like that. That's that's really thick bodied, a dimensional something because I've got a, oh, it's not dimensional elements, but it's called something dimensional something in it if you use it it kind of gives it a, a raised feel to it okay is that too bright yellow for the pineapple y'all
Okay. This isn't doing too bad. Even with it not being like super, super thick. Now, I used my texture metallics with this the other night, and it worked really well with this little squeegee. But I don't have the texture metallics going today. I've just got regular paint, so I'm trying to think about that as I'm doing things. And not, not go too far. So I don't think this is going to work. I don't think I'm going to be able to control it well once I get to doing these inner letters. So. And I may end up having to trace those or use a marker to fill those in just because I... I'm unsure how well I will stencil them. I'm still working on my stencil skills, y'all. So, what has everybody got? I know Char's got her Bliss Makers Academy open. And I know Tammy has a... Uh, a new group going that created the painted soul crew painted soul creative creative journey where there's a lot of painters and crafters and and it's not just about painting she's got a few people that are doing food stuff and all that kind of stuff she's wanting to get some food people in there how's that um that's a great group to be in and to learn some stuff um tina has the color of fun but I'm not sure if anything is open right now on her page. And I am getting ready to open. Philip and I, as Home Base Essentials, are collaborating with a wonderful artist by the name of Deborah Wright. And we are going to, uh, yeah, you're, we are here. No, this is on my page, Char. We're not in Painted Soul Creative Journey. I'm not doing that group till tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I think Debbie Sells went this morning is why I was doing, I was trying to, to make sure the week had at least one artist a day on it. And that was why I was doing that. Um, uh, we are have something big coming called Art Country Central. We're going to be doing some of the small business techie side of it. And Deborah's going to be helping anybody who wants to paint or learn how to set up a brick and mortar uh, studio. We'll be helping with the online part of some of that. And then she'll be supplying some artwork for you guys to paint. Okay, you're painting a sky in there. You keep breaking up. Should I log in another way? Maybe. But let me ask, Char, am I breaking up on your end? Or is it just me pausing to talk to think? <laughs> Could just be me pausing. Um, use lemon custard. Let me see. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. So be a pineapple. I, does pineapple need to be the same yellow or a slightly different shade of yellow? Let's do a slightly different yet. It is the pause. Okay, Tina's. Char says it's just the pause where I keep stopping to think for a minute. So it may just be me pausing. If you're logging, if you're having a breakup issue, Char says it's not one on her end. Um, could y'all let me know if you think I should do wear a crown all in gold or just crown in gold? I think it just needs to be crown in gold. And I'm going to do be a pine, pineapple in a slightly different shade of yellow. From the rest of the pineapple. Tammy says it's not breaking up on her end. So that's good. a good deal. That's a good deal. Okay. All right. So I know that loads of people have lots going on these days. So I really appreciate you guys coming and chatting with me for a few minutes. Because... I know that everybody is fly busy. 
fly busy. Um, I do have a favor to ask everybody. What is something that you have seen done business wise that if you saw it done differently or if it was done differently, you might find it to be more beneficial for your business? Since most of y'all listening right now are business owners. Now, if you're not a business owner or you're not a painting business owner, I'm still talking to you. I'm going to put where A in this other yellow. I think it will go well. And I might need to come in with a light brown and kind of hit the edges of this, I think. We'll see. You know how the, the pineapple has the, the bits, crown and gold and, and just crown. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so I've got be a stand tall and be sweet on the inside. I think that whole phrase probably needs to be the same color. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this yellow ochre when we get done and edge these words that I wanted edged. Um... Maybe I should do yellow ochre on one of these other words. What do you think there? Yellow ochre is kind of a darker, almost a light tan. Can y'all see that on my palette? This was the, the what I did the pineapple in. Haven't done a collaboration. Still trying to work out, see how that works. I would like to try though. Well, Tina, you need to head over to, uh, you need to head over to Tammy's group, the Painted Soul creative journey tammy or char if y'all want to put the link in there for tina so she can go see how this is working uh we would love to have you join us over there i'm sure um too little too much information too little survey ha 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 well with what we've got coming, we're trying to help personalize what we do. And we want it to be a built around our members and their actual needs. And if the, somebody does something and they do it okay, but if something was, if it were done a little different, it would be more beneficial to them. Uh, well, my page today right now isn't actually the collaboration, Tina. Um, I didn't go live in that group. Tammy just posted that group. Now tomorrow at two, I will be live in that group. And I will probably put it on my page as well, just because I'm, I'm trying to go live on my page every day, but I may just go later tomorrow on my, on my page. Um, I like that darker one. Be a pineapple. Should I do... I think I'm going to do the same shade here at the bottom. But we want to help tailor our experience, the experience to our, our crafters and painters in our group that we've got coming. And so if there's something that's done, but you say if it was done this way or that way, or if there's a hint or a... It, some way that you, you it could be done differently that maybe would make it make make things something business related now it can be marketing it can be social media and you know maybe spend some quality time explaining what the algorithm is and how it works and all that good stuff and i say that because we did that the other night on our business page or well on our personal pages for business sake um for those interested, tonight at 8 p.m. Central on our in our Home Base Essentials Book Club. It's in our in our club. We have a club. Tina's a member over there. I think Tammy's a member, but I don't know that she's managed to tune in. She's been kind of busy. Um, but uh, several people are in there, and you can always watch the replay. Um, we've been trying to do Zooms, Zoom meetings, while we go through the... Uh, Jeff Walker launch book. We've been working on that. We've been kind of going slow. You lost your book again. Tina, I almost think you might need to buy and uh, get the Kindle version of it to hang on to it too. Um, hmm. 
What color for that one? Should it be the same color? Then it's not too many crazy shades. Yeah, let's just do it that way. Because I was trying to decide, I only have like three or four decent shades of yellow. I think someone stole it from, from work. Well, there is that possibility. If you leave something sitting around at work, people do tend to take it, unfortunately. And if they've got a side hustle they're want, wanting to work on, or they're trying to keep you from leaving because they love you and they don't want you to leave and go work your side hustle full time, there's that possibility too. Well, tonight at 8, we'll be, we're supposed to be, unless something happens between now and then, we should be going live in that group about 8 p.m. Central to talk about the next chapter in that book. I think, I think we're on chapter either five or six. I don't remember. We've had to cancel a couple of times because we had emergency somethings come up on our end. Last week, our one of our coaches was having a big thing, and we had to kind of, nope, they don't care about me. Everyone is trying to leave the factory work. Oh, okay, well, then maybe they're trying to take your book so they can learn how to leave the factory. All right, I think I've got everything covered here. Unless I wanted to come in and do some really light green. Let me take a little bit of this really light green. I'm going to kind of, oh, you know what? Oh, 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 oh. Hold that, hold that thought. I have a metallic that we can put in there. And we'll mix the metallic with, and this one is festive green. And we'll mix just a little bit of the metallic with that light green. And we're not going to cover the whole thing. We're just going to kind of hit around here and there. Kind of try and hit the tips real good. At least the tips. And I'm trying to make sure I've got some metallic and not just the, the light one on there. Okay. We ready for the reveal? Ooh, that stuck really bad to this paper. That was not a good deal. Well, I probably learned that this is not the best technique for me to use when doing this on the watercolor paper. I will potentially trace them and then freehand them. For my gifts. Set that there over there so it'll dry. But it does look cute. I do like how it turned out. I don't love these colors. Um, I like the shading in there on that for sure. So I'm going to get my number one liner and I'm gonna roll it in that yellow ochre, which was that that shade right there, and I'm gonna kind of come in and fix where it didn't want to look quite right. And I'm just going to kind of push my letters together since it bled a little bit. What's funny is what I, I only have one really bad bleed spot from the ones that everything else I did with a brush. And anyway, so I am loving this. So if y'all would like to join us, the HBE Book Club is what you need to search. When I get off of here, I can put it in the links. It's on Facebook. We do it on Facebook for those who might be watching on my YouTube channel. Um, and we will be on there tonight unless some major something happens tonight between now and then. Because to my knowledge, I'm not planning on anything happening, but, you know, frequently things don't. I know that last week we had to cancel because we we thought my, our coach was doing her thing at lunchtime and she had shifted it to evening and it was like, oh, okay. So then we ended up down here. 
Now, my question is, would that fit on an 8x10? I believe it would. So if you wanted to do it on an 8x10, you could do it on an 8x10. So if I wanted to do it a little smaller, I could. Now, my next question for you guys is, this would be too much to have this around the edge. Would it be too much to put some of this, these fronds around the edge? Hmm. Trying to decide if I should put fronds around the edge later or not. I think what I'm going to do is take a black... A black marker. No. Yeah, let me see. Hang on. I may have one I can use. It's not black. It's yellow. Let's see. Um, I'm going to see. I've got a yellow right here. We'll see if it'll... Nope, that's not going to cover anything up. I can tell. That's not the tip I thought it was. Okay, so let me grab, I'm going to grab the green one, and it's a fine tip. Let's see if there's any ink still in these babies. They have not been used in a while, and I think they were stored upside, right side up, which means that the tip is, that any ink that might have still been in them is at the other end and not really accessible. So I'm going to flip them back upside down, and I'm going to grab my black Sharpie. I should have one in here if I don't have one anywhere else. Yes, I have one in here. I cleaned off my desk, if that helps. So all of my pens and handy dandy tools that I had sitting right here are gone. So I'm going to take and really quickly outline these. And I'm going to work really, I think because this wasn't perfectly smooth paper, that's why I had as much bleed as I did. Because this was watercolor paper and it does have that little bit of texture and that would make sense why it did not lay flat for it. Alright, I'll finish that in a minute, but I've got my idea down and I love these stencils. I put a code in the in the comments if you're interested in essential stencil they do have a stamp of that this is a stencil of the month club so you'd have to join the stencil of the month club you can still get this one i believe hey debbie how are you um i believe you can still get this one this is the may one mine just came in the mail they got them out a little late this month or some of them did and i love theirs so much they're some of the best quality stencils that i've had um, I just need to learn better to, to pick my surfaces because this is not a smooth surface. And I think that's why I had the little bit of bleed that I did have. So thank you for coming and hanging out. I am switching the camera view so you know what I'm clicking over here. And I will be on in the group that Tammy posted, the Creative Journey group. Oh, she posted uh, for the presenter. Sorry. That I'll get the, the group link posted in just a minute for the Creative Journey present group for you guys if you want to join us over there and see how things are going. Now, you got to be a presenter to put your goodies in there and, and share your, your stuff. But, okay, that's what I thought it was. So, I'm going to copy and come over here and I'm going to paste it. Debbie went this morning in that group and did a fabulous job. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, so those of you who want to join us and just watch some of the creatives in there doing their thing, um, 
I always learn when I watch other people. Even if I don't do that style, I learn something that I can apply to my, my journey. So we would love to have you jo join us over there. Keep your eyes open on my page. I will be over there tomorrow at 2 p.m. Um, keep your eyes open on my page tomorrow. I will probably go live a little later than that. I'm going to say probably four ish. Um, depends on what time I finish with the live in that group. I'm going to try and leave everything I do in that group in that group and then pull my other stuff out. But I don't know. I may not. But I thank you for being here today. Keep your eyes open for more information on Art Country. And if you're watching the replay, feel free to tag me to write replay and or, or something like that in there. And then answer the question that if there's something that you see done, somebody coaches or teaches some way, but if you thought it could be done a little bit differently, that would make more information. Can I use the link you use to connect my group, my page to the group? You should be able to click on that from your page and join the group that way. We may need to get on FaceTime here in a minute or on the messenger here in just a minute, Debbie, to see if we can figure that out. Several people have had a lot of trouble joining as their page or as their self if they joined as the page first. It's just, oh, I don't know. Facebook seems like it keeps changing on us. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I'll be in that group, in the group that I posted the link to tomorrow at two and then on my page probably about four uh we will talk to you then have a great afternoon